I had a couple Persona 3 videos on my channel already, but I deleted them because I wanted to do a full playthrough of it because I just, I really love this game. And this is around the time I usually play through the game again, so I figured why not record it and, you know, talk about it because this is my favorite game of all time. So we're going to be playing as the male just because, and I'm going to put it on normal mode because I'm not, I really don't want to spend like... A hundred extra hours just grinding on maniac mode. So we're just gonna play in normal mode. And now we will enjoy the game. Ooh, look, a butterfly. Ty never waits. It delivers us all equally to the same end. You, who wish to safeguard the future, however limited it may be. You will be given one year. Go forth without falter, with your heart as your guide. I'm sorry for the background noise. I can't really do anything about that. I'm recording kind of late at night, though. So I guess I. I just put it to my head and pull the trigger. No chickening out. Man, I have the biggest smile on my face. No matter how many times I play this game, I will feel satisfied in my game. No, I can't. You can do it. Function in the switching system, today's rail schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. The next stop is Iwa Todai. Iwa Todai. This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please take care to board before our departure. The intro to this game is pretty long. But not as long as Persona 4. Thankfully, Jesus. It's almost midnight.
Welcome. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you can see the portrait glitching when he blinks. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Huh. I choose this fate of my own free will. Is that the only thing the contract says? So, for this picture, I'm gonna go with the cannon. Which is. Makoto. Makoto Ruki. Wait, let me make sure. That doesn't look right. Is it? It's Makoto Yuki. That's not how you spell that, though. Give me one second. That is how you spell it. That doesn't look right, though. Yeah, okay. M-A-K-O-T. Yep, that does that really doesn't look right, but alright. Makoto, I was right. Very well. <laughs> Why did it take you so long to sign your name? Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. And so it begins. Hmm, <laughs> you just disappeared, huh? Who's there? How can you be? But it's... Hi, Don't Mr. tell me. Wait. <laughs> Please don't shoot him. <laughs> I like how our first instinct is to the light. holding your gun. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Sorry. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi, I'm Yukari. Hi. Uh, why do you have a gun? Huh? Um, well, it's sort of like a hobby. Well, not a hobby, but... You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. It's not a real gun, of course. Ah, so it's just a, What if they call your bluff, though? It's getting late, so you should get some rest. Your room's on the second floor at the end of the hallway. Your things should already be there. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. So, any questions? What was that contract for? Huh? What's this about a contract? Um, hello? <laughs> what contract? <laughs> um, excuse me, what was that? <laughs> I never saw that before. Um, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? <laughs> um, yeah. I see. Never mind then. Well, I better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but yeah. let's save them for later, okay? Good night. Okay, that's that's honestly the first time I've ever seen that. Okay. Sleep okay? Still kind of tripping about you last night, but Mitsuru Senpai asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, then let's go. We have to.
have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh, look, you can see it now. That's the best Morning. school music of the whole series. The next two Persona 2 uh, is the best. Morning. Well, here we are. Welcome to Gekukan High. You're gonna love it here. You better love it here. You're okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Um, classroom, you right. Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you later. I don't think anyone can believe me if I told them I saw a You can just quick travel because of the portable version. I don't like this guy. <laughs> Probably not gonna do this sort of like, I don't know. I just don't like this. That's fantastic. The teachings of Bushido are important than as they are now. Oh, are you the new student? Yes. Yuki Makoto. 11th grade, correct? Did I put my name in wrong? Wow, you've lived <laughs> in a lot of different places. Isn't his last name first? Let's see. Uh, wait, no. In Makoto 1999, was, yeah, was first, that was so. what, uh, 10 years ago? Oh, we'll find out later. Your parents? <gasps> I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Nice to meet you. <laughs> wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. As you begin the new school year, I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... Psst, hey. You came to school with Yukari this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. Hey, I have a question. Do you know if she has a boyfriend? I see. I thought you might know, but I guess not. So how well do you know her? Hey, he should know that I'm just transferred here. Like, I'm the only student with blue hair in this school. I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. How do you know that? Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. Well, now everyone's talking. What's up, dude? How's it going? Oh, come on. Let me introduce myself, at least. I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in eighth grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I wanted to say, hey, <laughs> see what a nice guy I am? Sure. Hey, it's Yukatan. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. At it again, huh? I swear you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? Isn't that the point of talking to somebody? If they're listening? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? Where's the ha? You got it. Yeah, I know. Funny, huh? Um, hello? <laughs> Are you forgetting that I'm in this class, too? By the way, I heard you two came to school together this morning. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. What are you talking about? We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? Yeah, Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Hey. 
You didn't say anything to anyone about, you know what, did you? <laughs> okay, good. Uh -uh. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, all right? Say it a little louder for Junbei, please. <laughs> See? What? L last night? Wait a minute! Don't get the wrong idea! Listen! I just met him yesterday, and there's absolutely nothing between us. Jeez. I've got to go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not start any rumors. Ah, uh, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. Yes, they do. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. It's not a good thing, Chief. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man! <laughs> this is going to be a fun year. I can feel it. Whoa, check out the jocks on the run. Say, uh, you thinking about joining a club? You'd be joining as a new member, though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. Welcome back. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. Yeah, man. You gotta take it seriously. Sit at the wall all day. Wow. Sit and stare at the wall all day. <laughs> Yo, it's coach. Jesus, I cannot talk. Whispering to me. Hey, what's the answer? You can give me the right answer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I put my name in backwards. <laughs> so I'm Yuki Makoto. I'm Makoto Yuki. Completely different. OC, you know. Oh, he's back. So, this is our new guest. Hi. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I, get tongue -tied. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? <laughs> to welcome you, of course. Speaking of which, Where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? There are only four students in this dorm. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? So the other night, I saw like a bunch of cops in She had a gun. You saw something strange. Like what? Like I said, coffins, and blood, and a gun. You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, because I'll... <laughs> yeah, I see that when I'm tired. Do you have another question? You know what kids these days. Then, I hope you have a successful school year. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the bad pun. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. Was that Karu? Waiter, sir. Working hard? So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. I'm pretty sure this is illegal. The dark hour is approaching. <sighs> this sucks. KJ Radio presents The Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kiricho Electronics. Kiricho Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. to me just noticeable I love the dark hour so much it's more hmm. in reality he's still sleeping persona 4 and persona 5 since it's not like inside a TV or in someone's heart is still during like the real world just as the dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight you could say it's the hidden hour during this time an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs except for that last guy though then he must be as you can see he's retained his human form he's asleep but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour the only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. You should. Master. Master Yuki Makoto. Yeah, I put my name in backwards. Uh. <laughs> Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. Hi. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Oh, this is Persona 4. Or Persona 5. Henceforth, you shall be welcome oh, here okay. in the Velvet Room. We sign a contract in the beginning of the game, but in the beginning of the game, it's actually in the middle of the game. And it's a flashback. So yeah, he does sign a contract. You are destined to hone your unique ability, <laughs> and you will game. require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return that you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Uh, I understand. Hold on to this. <sighs> Till we meet again. I had a strange dream, but it's time to go to school. 
Yeah, man, I'm sleeping today. Sometimes like this, it's best to sleep during class. You ever notice how sometimes taking a nap in class is still more refreshed than sleeping at home? You shouldn't sleep in class. What? What are you getting serious all the time? That feeling of being completely with you is awesome. You youngsters might call it Davao. I can tell you guys just don't go. He's trying to stay hip with the kids. Yo, this literature is Davao. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we usually end up here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade, and oh, oh, this is where you come to rent out CDs, too. Then there's that club over there. But of course, uh, I've never seen the inside. Welcome back. Is he? The same as last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. Uh, but I'm sleeping. How would you know if I have memory loss with me being asleep? But this subject is rather unique. He, means he hasn't exhibited any of the common uh, symptoms. <laughs> Just realized that. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard he's your classmate. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? Yeah, I guess, but still. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know, I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman. This music is so good. I wish we heard it more. Let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. Right. Be careful. Akihiko! <sighs> I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What the? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takiba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! I I'm going! Wake up! Sorry, I'm coming in! So I, don't I don't have like time to well. explain. We have to get out of here now! Either way, that's just What's going on? Hurry, downstairs. We'll leave through the back door. Wait, take this, just in case. Sword. 
she was just carrying a sword with her. Okay, let's go. Why did I question that? I questioned why she had a gun. I have to have seen it. All right, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Yes, I hear you. Be careful. There's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? Uh, let's pull back. What was that? It's getting closer. And this scene is Keep moving, so hurry. Uh, the door's locked. I think we're safe for now. Climbed up the wall? Yep. There. They're on the roof. We're dead. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait. That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh, yeah. I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. Goes. Here goes. <laughs> Man, that, that, you know, that, that's what you need. Gun stood this way. Why don't you? What's that? <gasps> He's like, oh shit. It's kind of crazy. Is it over? Doesn't sound <gasps> It's still moving. No, get away shadow from me. Quotation marks. A piece of the shadow, if that's what you say it is. <laughs> Mikari safe. I feel exhausted. You losing conscious. Uh oh. Ooh, that <gasps> had to hurt. Are you okay? Oh, come on. Please. Can you hear me? Answer me. This is the bell, remember? It's so nice to see you again. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. My psyche. 
A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please remember that. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. It's the whole week. Not, no, that's more than a week. That's 10 days. Hmm. You're awake. Oh, hi. Um... How do you feel? Um, why are you here? Thank goodness you finally came too. You didn't answer my question. I was so worried about you. Okay, that is fine. The doctor is. couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. But your power, it was amazing. <laughs> what did I do? The power you used. We call it Persona. <laughs> but Igor's like, didn't I just tell you what you did? And those creatures you defeated are shadows. Our enemy. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh... I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. What do you mean? My dad died in an accident when I was little. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. So why'd you ask? But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. He was working in a lab run by the Curijo group. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekokan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them too. Well, you didn't really do any fighting. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. Well, it's not your fault. <sighs> Thanks. But still, and here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Bye! I don't have to do homework for the last week, right? Yo, long time to see you. What's up? You have a upset stomach or something? <laughs> for 10 days? Yes. Anyway, I got something to tell you. You seem cool, man. Dude, I'm just fine. Look at old you. This is the real. You should cheer up too. I forgot you got me for a friend. Sheesh, someone's cool. We're uh, tired of hearing about that. That's not what she said, but that's pretty much what she said. <laughs> Are you feeling any better? Sorry to hit you with this first thing in the morning. We smoked the coffee today. Four, four hours. Sure.
hechos homo sober y homo sapiens. Ah, there you are. He just appeared right in front of us. I'm glad that you're okay. The reason I asked you here is because I needed to talk to you. <laughs> I need to talk to you. So, the first thing you do when you see a gun is put it to your head. You okay, buddy? Please, have a seat. Oh, man, I'm just fine, dude. Oh, before that, I believe I mentioned him earlier, but this is Akihiko. How you doing? Pretty good. Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I'm not surprised by your reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you came here? You had to have noticed the signs. Yeah, I tried to bring them up. The street lights went out, nothing was working, there were coffins everywhere. Didn't it feel like you were in a different time? That's the dark hour, a time period hidden between one day and the next. It occurs each night as the clock strikes 12. It'll happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. It's Von Aurelius. But that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. It's our job to defeat them. Sounds exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like that? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now. He does his work well. Long story short, we're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, C's for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club. But in reality, this group is dedicated to do? defeating the shadows. What does the school think our club does? Mitsuru is the leader. I'm the club advisor. Well, I guess it doesn't matter since the school is run by the A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight the shadows. That's Persona, the power you used the other night. The shadows can only be defeated by Persona users, which means it's all up to you guys. You don't have a Persona? <laughs> so... What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. Yeah, sure. <sighs> I was afraid you'd say no. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much. I'm really glad. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay here, in your current room? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> I know, I so much. Hold up? But wasn't that... All part of the plan? <laughs> oh, never mind. She joined C's. The voice rings in your head. Our first voice is on the floor. Thou art I and I am thou. Thou hast established your bond. Thou shalt possess you. Signed a contract. How'd you get in here? I'm always with you. That's creepy. <laughs> That's even creepier. Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. 
Security? <laughs> the end? The end of everything. But to be honest, I don't really know what it is. Oh, looks like you've awakened to your power. And an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It may prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? Of course. I expect you to honor your commitment. I'll be watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay then, see you later. He just walks back into the closet. He disappeared. Yeah. Just wake up in the morning. Hey, Mitsuru Senpai, you played it here in the back. This is about yesterday. I can feel Senpai's injured. I was really uneasy about walking along with Mitsuru Senpai. Injured? Yeah, I can feel Senpai's attacked by a shadow. <sighs> I thought I was gonna fall asleep in there. Can I have a minute? Come to the lounge when you get back to the dorm. I have something to tell everyone. I'll save the details for later. See you there. Okay. It's kind of redundant, isn't it? Come back to the dorm. She's probably busy with things like student council, unlike us. Ooh, Yucatan. Do I sense some hostility? <laughs> Junpei was eavesdropping. Well, it's not that I don't like her. She's just... Welcome back. Huh. We were waiting for you. There's someone I want to introduce. Huh? Hey, hurry up. Hold your horses. This is freaking heavy. <laughs> What's up? Junpei? Why are you here? Like, uh, I have the biggest smile. Oh, I love this. This is Junpei Iori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here as of today. He's staying here? You've got to be kidding me! I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help. You have the potential? <laughs> For real? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store, surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. He said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Did you guys know that? Uh, didn't happen to me. Big deal. Oh, okay. It happens to everyone else. <laughs> now that you're special. <laughs> but man, I was shocked to find out about you guys. I had no idea. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It could get kind of lonely, you know? I'll bet you're stoked too, right? Having me join? Huh? Uh, yeah. Well, enough with the introductions. I think we're about ready. Okay, everybody's here. I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Mitsuru and Akihiko were the only Persona users we had but that number recently jumped to five. Therefore, starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Why didn't you just see the dark out? Tartarus? What's that? Sounds like toothpaste. Uh, you haven't seen it, Junpei? Hmm? It's no surprise, since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? Did they not explain anything to you, Pei? And it's the perfect place for us to train. You can think of it as a shadow nest. Whoa! Their nest, huh? How can you not see Tartarus? But, Senpai, what about your injury? Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, he'll only come as far as the entrance. Since Akihiko? Yeah, I know. 
Relax, I've got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. As you know, I can't summon a persona. This is it? This is the place? Why here? Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight. Sorry about that. The guitar is. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything returns to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. Yeah. Well, maybe now we'll find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This'll be our first time exploring it. Exciting, isn't it? There has to be some sort of clue in here about the Dark Hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. I know. You don't have to remind me. <laughs> so this is Tartarus. Whoa. It's just as cool on the inside. But it sure is creepy. Kind of. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. First, we'll have you three get a feel for this place. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. And I'll be feeding you information from here. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. For real? One of us? Oh, oh, me, 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 pick me. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Sorry about that, Junpei. You're in charge. Wait, 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 why him? He doesn't look like a leader. Have you not seen my anime here, dude? But he has fought them before. Seriously? That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like he can? Yeah, of course I can. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready? Oh. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, I didn't say it like I was enthusiastic about it. I just said, yeah, I'm ready. What's the matter? So, did they not see me, like, mess with the lock? I mean, just put my arm out. I've been waiting thing. for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Ah, uh, regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. So, <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> Please, you must understand. It is of the utmost importance. Your power is unique. It's like the number zero. It's empty, but at the same time holds infinite possibilities. You are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. 
your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce. But please, come again of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Until then, farewell. You know, I really didn't come on my own accord this time. Hey, are you all right? Um, yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Mm, nothing. Don't tell me you just dozed off. I am tired. You're like that coach who fell asleep during the championship game. Come on, man. You're supposed to be our leader. <laughs> Cut him some slack. If nothing's wrong, then let's get going. Talk. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did put my name in wrong. Oh well, that's gonna end it for here. We're what? We're going on an hour? Yeah, I'm gonna split this in in half.